Hi guys, Gabi from Your Path Hacks here. Last week I had to delete some packages from Orchestrator and I was surprised not to be able to find the delete button where I had expected it to be. So I'm making this quick video to hopefully shorten your search for the button if you ever need to delete some packages from Orchestrator as well. So let's suppose you have uploaded a package to Orchestrator and you now want to get rid of it. Maybe you have uploaded it to the wrong tenant, or maybe there is a complete new automation that kind of makes the older one obsolete. So how can you delete an old package? Let's go first to the Packages tab. And um, first of all, we realize there is no delete button inside here. Let's suppose I would like to delete the background process test one because I came with a new version called background process 2. So after some clicking around, I'm trying to look at the Explore package. There is no button here, there's one for comparison. I can open the versions. There is no delete button here. Right clicking doesn't help as well. I might want to maybe select the package and hope there will be some buttons coming up. There is one for upgrading, but none for deletion. So after some clicking around, we can check the View Versions tab. And if we check here some versions or all of them, finally a delete button comes up. But we can't click it, it's grayed out. And if we play around, we see that if we select just the old version, we can delete it. And let's go ahead and do that. Are you sure you want to delete it? Okay. Let's go back, now it's gone. But the active version, we can't delete. And the reason for that is that there must be a process using this package. So let's close this. Let's go to our Processes tab in our folder. And we have this BP test. Let's view the process. And this is using our background process test package. So what we need to do is select the BP test, delete it. So it will delete the process as long as any associated triggers. And now we can go back to our tenant, to our package, and attempt again to delete our package by viewing the versions first, selecting now the only inactive version, and deleting it. And there you go, our package has been deleted. So that was it. I hope this few minutes you spent watching this video will save you later more minutes of searching around and potentially spare you some frustration as well. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It will help the channel immensely and incentivize YouTube to propose this video and other similar videos to more interested people. Thank you for watching and have a great day.